All right, guys, this video is going to be a quick one. Today, we're going to learn how to interact polygon objects and extrude along a curve. So let's get started. Uh, this technique's really great if you're trying to model something like a cord or a rope. Uh, so we're going to get started by creating a polygon primitive, and we're going to create a cylinder. Uh, let's take this cylinder and let's lower the subdivisions to 12. And we'll go ahead and go to our side view. And at the top of our cylinder, let's create a CV curve from the bottom. And let's click and let's kind of just kind of work our way around, make a nice little curve upward. When we're done, we can hit Q to select the uh, curve, hit spacebar. And now this is a super easy method. Go ahead and grab the face or faces you wish to select. And so in this case, I'm going to highlight the faces at the top. There you go. So you can see I grab the top faces. I hold shift, grab the curve, and I'm going to simply run a mesh, or excuse me, edit mesh extrude. And when I do that, at first glance, it looks like it worked. But I need to add one more thing. I need to click with my left mouse button on the word divisions. And what that will do is actually form, you can see, divisions to the curve. And it's a pretty neat um, kind of tool to use. And uh, what you can see is before I delete my history, I can actually grab just the curve. And actually, I can even manipulate that curve. Let's hit this button here. There you go. Um, what I like to do though, as in my other videos, is I like to edit, delete by type history, and now I have a dependent or independent curve that I can uh, delete and a object that I can begin to use. Uh, so it kind of gives you some neat uh, ideas to it. A couple of the other things you can do once you add your divisions, and let's just go back a few steps here. Uh, our divisions are always here. We can actually even taper this so you can use this to make trees um, tree limbs and so forth we can twist the geometry which you know could have its intended uses um, but overall it's a really nice method now let's go ahead and delete this object and let's try it with a cube so let's take the cube click grab the item here and then we can do a uh, edit mesh extrude at our divisions and there you have it if you want to find the taper buttons again you want to maybe taper this cube find the poly extrude face scroll to the bottom and there you'll have the taper I highlight the word taper and push down my middle mouse button and I taper the cube in and so maybe I'm making a horn or something to that nature but overall, that's a very quick and easy way to extrude off of a curve. 